about get dough I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have I go hard, do what I need to make it last They say the good die young, I hope I'm bad Cheers to my past Well, I'd say good morning, people, but it's not exactly morning. It is 1.30 in the afternoon. The uh, first event started at 11. Um, we'll talk about that in a second, but we got some more important things to get through. I bought fucking three Blue Jay hats for the summer, and they, none of them fit right. I got one too small, two too small. This one's a little big, but whatever. I mean, repping Let's Go Blue Jays today. It's going to be a hat day. Hair is wild, you know? We're just going fucking whatever. So, hat day it is. Ugh. Okay, so here's what I wanted to talk about. So you guys know about the issue that we had. Well, first and foremost, I want to say this. Not that I would ever have any interest in doing this, but knowing who my wife is and what she's capable of when she puts her mind to something, there isn't a fucking world that I would consider ever cheating on my wife, okay? Not that I'd want to, first of all, and fuck, she'd catch you in seven fucking minutes. So my wife, she's interested. Who, what is the story behind Lake Havasu? Doom, 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 doom. She started digging, doing checks, checked every Daniel in Arizona, the whole freaking deal. And guess what? Guess what? My wife put the whole freaking puzzle together for this guy. So this guy, whoever it is, genuinely believes that I lived on that street. He was young, okay? And here is who he thinks I am, okay? Get a load of this picture right there, okay? So you could see sort of, you know, I don't know, like the face is kind of whatever, the hair, like my old hair a little bit. This is the guy. His name is Daniel Perry, okay? And he lived in Lake Havasu, and he, he loves Harleys. Hmm. So there you go. There's two pictures. There's another one right there you can see where he's out there by the lake or whatnot. Now here in this next picture, you're going to see uh, a guy named Randall. Randy. He keeps talking about Randy, Randy, Randy. She found out who that was too. Now, the piece of la resistance, the wife I never had that he thinks I had. Here you go. This is Christy. Christy right there, as you can see, uh, you know, lives now in California, but she did all the digging and found all the, she did everything. So here's what this guy thinks, right? He thinks this person, whoever maybe was dating Christy, right? And then uh, he must've skipped town, but the records show that he's not the father anyway. He's not the father. So he must've been like a boyfriend who was hanging out there. And this guy being young, thought that they were together and thought that it was his kid. Maybe he was just helping to take care of the kid and then they split and he took off and I don't know. But bottom line is, the good news is, we've handled the issue on our end. Um, part of me, because this guy, whoever it is, doesn't have Twitter, doesn't watch my vlog. He doesn't know me like that. So he doesn't know anything about my life really other than, you know, they watched me on TV and he thought I was dad. The one kid we never found was my son, Andrew. We never found, we don't, she hasn't found Andrew. We don't, we don't have a link to Andrew yet. Um, but so that's the, that's the latest on that. And like I said, good news is I think that's over. I mean, part of me wants to like, I don't want to, you know, get involved with this guy. But part of me wants to like show him like, dude, this is your guy. It's not me, you know, but I think it's best to let's leave it and, and let it go. You know, if he were to contact me again, maybe we would go down that road. But for now, my, my wife has that like, you know, carry from uh, Homeland Brain when, when she's into something trrr, dissected the whole freaking story picked it apart clean good right she did good what are you doing here today what are you doing here today same as yesterday same as yesterday buddy nada and you over there where are you at are you just chilling by yourself moping because you want more food okay there you go I know he doesn't want food he wants the T-R-E-A-T -E but I can't say it good boy alright so Oh, here we go. We got the, this is another Contenders Clothing shirt. This is all the, the mob families from the show. All right. So we'll talk about the plan on the drive-in. All right, drive-in video people. So here's what we found out. So Christian, my guy, cause he's just like, he's numbers nerd like me. You know, we were wondering about this light that we've only hit one time and it's day 15, right? Well, how is that a thing? And I thought, well, maybe, must be a discrepancy in how much time this light is green and whatnot. So he timed it. He timed. He timed it. And we're hitting the red right now. And the truth is, we're like a 10 to 1 dog to hit this light. Because for every, this light is on for 15 seconds, right? And then the other one, like it's green, like 
So it's it's red for like 150 seconds and it's green for only 15 seconds. So it makes sense now, right? We're at the light. Cool. Well, wait, it's fine. We got to talk about some things today. It's two o'clock. Very was kind of sh shitty schedule for me today. Um, I don't, I'm not a big fan of a 1500 and a 3k and there's like a shitty ones tomorrow. It's really weird. All these big ones. And then like the 10k is back to back instead of like, I don't know, my fault. Cause I, you know, I have to look at the schedule and fix that stuff, but it's a, it's a puzzle. You know, there's a lot to it. So today we've got a $1,500 horse that started at 11. It's two o'clock now. Now the issue is this thing goes on break for dinner at like 540. So there's no point in showing up at like 430 and playing one hour and then break for an hour. So um, we're going to go. And we, the other option we could have done was just jumped in after the dinner break at 7 p.m. and have like 12 and a half big bets to play, which is fine. And then the backup plan is a uh, turbo E to 30 minute level 3K six max no limit that starts at three and late reg there till 945. So the plan as of now that we mapped out is to just show up now, you know, play the horse and, you know, take the dinner break and relax and do whatever. And then um, from there, you know, what would we have? We have till 945 in the horse to decide if we jump into the six max and that, you know, we don't, we're not gonna double dip, you know, I don't do that. But, um, you know, if I'm like, say, like two big bets left and I'm like just doing bad in the horse, I'll get it in, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna like grind it, like, oh, this is my last chip in the world. You know, I'm gonna try to get some chips in the horse. And then uh, if not, have the backup plan. We are gearing up though, ladies and gentlemen, for a big, big buy in situation where there's a 100K and a 250K that starts Sunday and then Thursday. So that's potentially $700,000 of our buy-ins because there's one rebuy in each. So, you know, it's uh, safe to say, I think that that's gonna have a big impact on the overall number for our series, right? It's gonna be uh, crucial events and we're gonna do our best, you know? It's been tough, right? But it's only two weeks when you think about it, you know? Two weeks of running bad, so what? A lot of people go through worse, you know what I mean? I, my life is blessed, whatever, but I'm, I, I allow myself to vent. I don't, I'm not like, I'm not a robot. I don't care to be a robot. I'm just a genuinely emotional person. So when I'm upset, I'm gonna like, dang it. I'm not gonna be like, nice hand, it's fine. I'm fine. No, I'm pissed off, man. I wanna win, just like everybody else. So the good news is, is I, at nights I can be so deflated and feel so hopeless. Cause like I've been losing these all ins for years and it just wears on you after a while. And then, um, you wake up the next day, you can't wait to play. And that's what we're gonna do. All right, people, time to get a move on. Uh, it's 11 a.m. event, the first one we played. Hence, we're making the walk over to the valley side. A little bit of a stroll, but nothing crazy, you know? And then we're gonna play for two hours and then have a 75 minute dinner break or something. That looked like the Balenciaga guy, but it wasn't. Yeah, nice. They got snacks here for you if you want that. You got uh, you got the GG Lounge right here, Platinum. But you gotta be a Club GG member to go in here, okay? It's very important. $49.99. Hey, say hi to the people. See, it's comfy in there, it's pretty. I'll show you around later. See you guys. So nice, right? Yeah, 49 And also, don't forget the bubble protection, guys. There's like eight events where if you have a Club GG membership and you bubble one of these actual worlds here, you'll get your buy-in back. It's pretty nice, I think. Uh, and then we got stores here for clothes. We got a burger joint over there. You know, it's nice. It's different than the real walk, I'd say. Different from my daily walk over at Paris. Maybe a nice change of pace will do me some good. Since, you know, the first two weeks didn't go as planned. You got, look over here, you got Shiver, whatever. You got frozen cocktails, if you're into that. Right there, look at that guy there. Oh yeah, got your cocktails. You got masseuses over there in the corner there, eh? And now we head to the casino, and now we gamble. So Mikey, here's the thing. A lot of people were thinking you're done with the scooter, yeah. but you're not done with the scooter. And what happened to the shirt? You had a nice one yesterday, the Nike shirt. I know, well, was nice. I need to wash my Let clothes. me get you some new t-shirts. Well, right. I got Contenders clothing brand. All right. We, you, did you like uh, Cobra Kai? 
Oh, or like Rocky or... Uh, give me uh, an extra... Oh, look at this shirt. one. This is a Godfather shirt right here. Look at give that. Give me one of those. Godfather. I'll We're going to hook you, you up. Get me. Bring, me, okay. bring me a fuck couple shirts. Dead. Are you playing this horse? I am. I just okay. busted the triple draw. All well. dead. All right. I'm right. running in. I'm jumping in myself. On the shirt. Uh, What's that? On the shirt. All dead. All Daniel? Dead. dead. They're all dead. Yes, From that's true. Some of course they're dead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mikey wanted to flip it. Me and Kid Poker. Let's go. We're having yeah. a great World Series. Daniel's 0 for the world. I'm fucking 4 for 6, and I'm still stuck. Well, that's okay. You know, you just got to win the right ones. That's all, buddy. Today's a new day. New day. All right. It's a new photo? Yeah, let's do a photo. Come on, baby. Let's go. Thanks, right. Daniel. You got it, bud. Here we go. We walk over to Orange Late. And, uh, whoa. <laughs> Did you hear that one? <laughs> that was like like pounds of COVID in his chest just popped right out. <laughs> All right, let's register. Alan Kessler, you're summoned. <laughs> what do I Come do on do? down. Here you go, bud. What do you think I do? Okay, hold on a second. What's bothering you today, Alan? What's bothering you today, Alan? <laughs> oh my God. Ask Kathy about our, our horse table, our uh, triple draw table. Yeah, yesterday. he knows. <laughs> I literally turned over 86, 85. I know. I had one seven, which lost. I never went through a tournament like that. Yes, it's me, bro. <laughs> Jesus. Yes. Didn't win a hand. <laughs> I know we got to get a little good out. luck, a good good choosing. So what happened, Alan? Kathy was a sweetheart always. Oh, to play with. you're so sweet. Thank you, dear. Here's All right. So what else you got Walk for us, Alan? Alan? I don't know. Whatever you need. Nothing. I have no chips. I have uh, fourteen thousand out of twenty-five. That's it. That's all you got. Thank all right. You. You've been complaining a lot less this year. People are noticing. <laughs> you seem happier. I don't know what's up. <laughs> all these women on uh, Facebook are best TV, but they're not Asian or skinny or whatever. <laughs> you getting a bunch of hit ups? No, girls, no. girls checking you out on your Facebook? No, like this girl, um, I can't remember her name now. She sent a picture of her by the pool, and somebody said, Well, she's not Asian. I said, She's still way out of my league, regardless. <laughs> I think I like that self awareness. Alan knows. Okay, so here we go. This guy's got a cheating device right here. It only sees through deuces, though. What is this for? It is a telescope that helps me see distance. I'm visually impaired. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And it works really well? Uh, it works well enough for me. Did you, the LASIK thing wasn't an option? Uh, no, no, no. I have a genetic condition. All right. Well, that's pretty, that looks badass, honestly. Uh, thank you. <laughs> it looks like superhero style. <laughs> Love it. We're about to start here after the break. All right, so we're sitting here. First hand, I get the deuce three, four six with two two pair this man over here has jacked up here's what i don't here's what i don't understand I, it's, it's been a dilemma for me for a long time so the, the, the english language was originated like seems like in england and uk and, and whatnot but like my friend here i'm on, you're on the vlog right now so set, you know, so anyway i told him we'd make it yeah right so we, we were he was agreeing kind of that the english language was created in an area right where people today speak it so fucking poorly right like the word can't has a T in it, right? But they never use the T. Well, what's it there for, right? Phonetically, doesn't that, doesn't that make that doesn't make no sense? Makes no sense. See? He zero sense. sense. He's zero, zero sense. sense was made. That, see? Right. That's the absolute truth. There you go. Look, they're everywhere. Taking a picture with Disco. Let's go, Blue Jays. Let's go. Let's go. They're up one nothing in the second. Oh, nice. And you live in LA now. Yes. You're a trader like me. I love. Well, well, yeah, but I want Dodgers and Blue Jays World Series. That'd be dope. That'd be fun. Mm -hmm. Fun for you. All right, look at the hat. Nice hat. Good job. Got the post, uh, post season. There you go. Too. You gotta love it. Here we go. I'm growing out my pitcher beard. All right, last hand before dinner break. This one I made a little something, something. Got half of it. And here it comes. Taking a picture for yourself. Yeah. You got a straight and a nine and all that. Dealer's doing her thing, chopping it up, and then we're gonna go relax. We cut the legs off of our pants, threw our shoes into the ocean, sit back and wait through the daylight, sit back and wait through the daylight, sit and slide on subway grain, these shoes are four minutes ice skating, fall through like change in the daylight, fall through like change in the daylight, I miss you at the All right, nice little start to this chinday. We got 46-4, start with 25, play two hours going to dinner break uh, didn't look good right off the bat <laughs> didn't look good right off the bat um had the uh the deuce three four six deuces and six and then i had in hold them 
I lost the minimum with kings on the button against ace king in the big. I lost uh, a four bet the pre. Uh, no bet on the flop. One bet on the turn. That's it. No bet on the rivers. Got to feel good about that. And then uh, I did have a nice stud hand. Start with the queen of clubs up, an ace ten of clubs in the hole, and there was no clubs out. There was an ace behind me and a queen out, and the guy raised. Three way action pot. Got the king of clubs. So a royal draw. Ended up making a flush. Won a nice little pot there. And then this last hand you just saw, um, I actually had the whole pot on 6th Street against two players, big pot. And the guy made like a really bad low. So, and I had a bit of low draw with uh, a flush, but that's okay. You, know, you can't win every single spot. All right, so we're not, I don't even know if I'm gonna eat. I'm not all that hungry. It's kind of early, 5.40. I'm just gonna use this opportunity to rest. One of the nice things about these 11 a.m. tournaments is that, uh, you know, you're done at 11. So you get home at a reasonable hour, go cuddle up with the pups, and, uh, oh, pff, unbelievable. La I'm, I'm an AGD fan, big time. America's Got Talent. Last night, there was a Filipino dance crew that is, the, and I love the dance crews, the best I've ever seen. These guys, I don't know how they did it. Maybe we can show a clip. Maybe we can show a clip. We'll find it. These Filipinos, this guy, they threw him in the air. You know they do that, the acrobatic. They throw the guy way up in the air, right? And then they catch him. They didn't catch him. He flipped up and was falling head down and then just lands on his feet. It's like, I don't get it. How? How do you not break your legs? You just got like, you know, I don't know, special Filipino bones. I was heavily impressed with that. Anyway, random, but oof, a little bit smoky in valleys. Break time. Let's do it. Well, Jared, for a guy who doesn't play too much poker nowadays, I imagine you've got to be pleased with a fifth place finish, but, but sum up your thoughts for us. Nice shades. Well, Jeff, uh, I want to say, you know, I've come on here before and I've told the world that these tournaments mean nothing to me. But here, we're playing, it was a $50,000 buy-in. I was playing for $1.4 I was playing for a bracelet. And to be honest with you, Jeff, this still does absolutely nothing for me. And why is that? I'd rather be selling sports cards. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you, Jared Blesnick, ladies and gentlemen. Sports cards. Alan, what are you doing in there? What are you doing in the GG Lounge? Oh, oh what are you stealing? Pepsi, what else? I saw you bad touching the chips. What? Did you steal potato chips? No, I don't like them. You didn't like the chips? I went in to get a Hershey bar, they didn't have them. And they didn't have the chips for you? No. The chips that you wanted? The only one I like is the cheese puffs, the puffy variety, not the puffy Okay, variety. I'll put that on the list for you. Cheese puffs with the puffy grinder. And what's in here? You took that from Roma Deli, the puff soda? I, I always go here every day for lunch. Every day. All right. Good luck in this thing. It's not vegan, though. Not uh, vegan. The, the drink isn't? No, the whole restaurant is not vegan. It's, it's okay. Fine. All right, check this man's ID. If it says Jerome, it's fake. Here we go. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. Here we go. First dip today. One First dip. And another camera. You there you go. I mean, uh, you listen. You, I'm not the guy who brings his own crew everywhere I go. Okay, that's you. Like you just can't help that's yourself, you. huh? You got your own crew. I'm just a one-man crew here. One -man I do it all crew. by myself. <laughs> you grinding the 1500 horse. That's how you know. Ivy's, Ivy's feeling it right now. Were you listening to Family Feud on the break, by the way? No. You were not, because somebody in your room is right next to me. <laughs> Welcome back from your break. We're on level 10. Okay, 83.5, going on our last break, and then we got two more hours. It'll be a nice early night. Sitting on 83,000, the average is 40,000. About 400 and something players left. It's a big one, a lot of interest in the horse. And I'll say one thing about the $1,500 buy in level. Um, generally speaking, the players are much weaker than I'm one of them used to in terms of like, well, just basically they just fold too much. So that makes it easy, which opens up me playing a little more aggressively. There was one hand in stud eight that I played that I probably wouldn't have at a normal table but because it was so uh, passive and weak. I limped with an eight up and seven nine in the hole. Not really a great stud eight hand, but I, like I said, I really like my stud eight game. So I played it, but then I got into a t tricky spot on fifth with like, I made ni nines and a, and a low draw, straight draw kind of thing. And you know, I don't know. Anyway, I lost a couple bets on that, but 83K, 
One, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna have. I think I'm gonna do a little chocolate. Feeling, feeling chocolate right now, some peanut butter cups. Something like that. And then uh, that'll be that, yeah. Where are we going, Alan? Where are we going? You're going to get some more free shit, aren't you? If it's open, I don't think it's open anymore. Well, then what are you going to do? You're going to have to find a coupon of some sort, somewhere. Oh, man, you're screwed. Shit out of luck. <laughs> All right, we go over to the pharmacy right here. See what we got here. I think that's going to be the jam right there. Some of this stuff. Why? Oh, I already got it in my hands. Oh, this is the magic of editing. Okay, this is what I'm having because it's yum. Why not? All right, the night is over. We did bag a stack. It is not a stack to be proud of, but we are uh, I'm just sitting next to German people, so I went all oh, German. Cheers. So, you know, I had 80 something thousand, everything was going good. And like I said, in these limit tournaments, you know, it's all about like timing. You win early, then you lose late. You know, you lose a lot of chips. So, we had 85, like I said. I was down to about 18, and now I'm not doing much. I got 29, 29,000. Average is like, I don't know, probably 75 or 80. So come in tomorrow, playing four and 8,000. That's uh, like almost three and a half, four big bets. Blue Jays won. Did they? I know, I saw that, right? Blue Jays won, yeah. yeah. Saw that. Um, 10th inning, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, glad he hit a single. Yeah. So okay. tomorrow's a shit show of a day, too. Yeah. Because, uh, well, we have this. We'll return this, playing Valleys. Um, it doesn't go well. There's, blah. We'll talk about it tomorrow. But I got, there's like a big bet mix. There's a stud eight. There's a no limit. We won't play. But yeah. All right. Disappointing finish. But we're still in. So there's that. Till next time. Hey,